Well, um, officially, you know, I started about five years ago. Um, <clears throat> just started selling hummus out of my house. Then about two years ago, you know, I really sunk my teeth into, you know, wanting to grow the business. So, you know, unofficially five years, but, you know, about two years ago, it really took on as a business. I find this story um, crazy in a sense, because literally you're at home and you make some hummus and you think, man, this is good hummus. And I think that I should be distributing this to people. And I mean, that's a pretty lofty goal. And sure enough, you're doing it. And to top it all off, this past weekend here in Saskatoon, the pitch party with Brett Wilson, and he ends up passing along the winner's ticket to you. So you've got funding from him to help you out. That's so cool, man. You know, I, I get asked all the time, you know, why Hamas? So how did you get started? Just as you guys did. And, you know, it really wasn't. Uh, you know, my idea to start selling hummus, you know, anybody that ever came into my home and ever tried it was always, you know, blown away by the taste. And so, you know, I was kind of urged to do that. Mm -hmm. And and now, you know, five years later to, you know, have, you know, my products available in so many stores. Yeah. Uh, Johannes, now I, I pride myself in making a pretty darn good hummus. Okay. And uh, so I use the chickpeas and I use a little bit of garlic, a little salt and pepper, a little bit of tahini. Which sure. is uh, which is the sesame seed paste. That's right. Uh, and I use a little bit of uh, what else? Uh, just some different uh, flavors. What is the one thing that are you going to tell us? Probably not. What what makes your hummus better than anybody else's? Sure. So I get asked that all the time, and ultimately it's the taste. And uh, when I started making hummus for myself, I didn't follow traditional recipes. And some of the ingredients that you just outlined, um, typically that is a, a that's a pretty standard hummus. Mm -hmm. um, and I've added ingredients that are unconventional in in, in all of my recipes. So, for example, um, the roasted garlic and dill Ooh. is a it's a favorite. You know, and dill is not something that traditionally is found in hummus. So taste is definitely, you know, the big difference in it, and it comes from my recipes. I just thought of a hummus recipe. Man, you would sell millions. Hey, I, I, would, lo I would love to. I'd love to get it from you. <laughs> oh, it's, no, it's not. It's just your traditional hummus. Just do the same recipe, but throw bacon in. Mm. Bacon hummus. Can you imagine? You know what? It would. I, I think it would go over with a lot of people. But uh, my line of hummus is um, Haynes hummus. It's it's vegan. Oh, oh okay. okay well, I'll, I'll do the bacon hummus. You just do uh, the vegan stuff. So I can bring you some of my hummus, and then you can add your bacon to it. <laughs> <laughs> you actually had to take on Haynes underwear because they didn't like the name of your hummus. Yeah, two years ago they sent me a cease and desist letter. Um, <laughs> Spelled and, differently. Uh, Spelled we'll differently, right? A resolution. Uh, but yeah, indeed, I did. Um, you know, I, I I objected to their their um, their position that customers would 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 get confused over over the two brands. Congratulations again on winning the pitch party with Brett Wilson this uh, this weekend. It's been a huge success story with Haynes Hummus. What does he provide for you now? Um, you know, it, it's it's an opportunity that. Um, you know, it provides me and my company a lot of publicity and exposure, um, as as you're well aware of. And um, you know, there's lots of guidance as well. And um, you know, he's well connected in you know in the business world. And just a it's a great opportunity to be able to to partner with. All right, Johannes, we've got to go, but uh, congratulations and good luck with your hummus. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the phone call, All and right. uh, I'll definitely be dropping off some for you guys. Ooh, we're up for that, man. Yeah. For I sure. want the, I want the garlic and dill. I'll break.